A veteran's legacy lives on through pictures, not of himself, but of things he drew. Brad Hamilton found that veteran's widow at this weekend's American Legion convention in Madison. He explains how picking up a pencil, not a service weapon, had an impact on Vietnam. I've met some incredible people here who've told me some incredible stories of sacrifice in their lives. Sacrifice that Betsy Grant knows personally. Her husband served in the United States Army from 1958 to 1968. He would be bragging about what I'm doing. He wouldn't be bragging about himself. And that's the way he was. He was an incredible man. Love of country led Vernon Grant to pick up arms in Vietnam, but also to pick up a pencil, becoming a cartoonist for the military publication Stars and Stripes. He wanted to serve his country. He had two brothers who were in the service. He, he and his family were, he and his brothers were first generation Americans. But as his military career ended, a new one began for Grant in the form of these graphic novels. Filling these pages are illustrations from the Army captain of what life was like as an American soldier. He wanted to teach people how to be peaceful and how to learn to love each other instead of hate each other. When Vernon passed in 2006, Betsy went to work, making it her life's mission to share her husband's work with as many people as possible. Probably a lot of people, when they lose someone they really love in their life, they they want to remember them in some way and they want that person to be remembered. Which is why Betsy is grateful for the American Legion, allowing her the opportunity this weekend to showcase her husband's work and remember his legacy. Reporting here in Madison, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. The convention is open to the public this weekend at Madison Marriott West.